What's the best you think you'd be able to do on that? Uh, Twenty bucks. That's fair. The bases are loaded. Two men are out. It's the tying run at the plate. Paul Lair is there. He's flying the center. Struck out the top. He's short. Nolan Ryan is to the pitch. Can I kick it off? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Over the Years Sports. It's your boy, Tim. It's another day, another dollar box. We are in Fairfax, Virginia. Um, big shout out to my buddies who I met through Midwest Box Breaks uh, community. Some local guys uh, from Midwest, Midwest Box Breaks community. Uh, we have like a little Discord chat and they told me about this small show today in Fairfax, Virginia. Uh, we are at the Comfort Inn Hotel. So... I'm gonna go in here and see what we can find um, to buy, and I'm excited. So let's go ahead and saddle on up and go dig through some boxes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are walking through the hotel lobby on our way to the room where the card show will be held. Uh, the length I had to walk to get to this room, I thought it was gonna be a lot larger. But uh, this was an extremely small card show. But no matter how large or how small the card show is, there will always be an opportunity to find some good deals. You know the motto here at Over the Years Sports, another day, another dollar box. In our first table, we find some nice boxes. These cards were listed at $5 a piece, but he had a deal for a certain amount of cards to kind of give you a discount. So one of the first cards that we found while digging through this box is this Julio Rodriguez patch card out of the brand new Series 1 2024. We also picked up a couple of other cards, including um, some silver pack rookie cards from the new uh, 2024 Top Series 1. We also picked up an L.A. De La Cruz blueprint rookie card. I actually am a fan of that insert this year from Tops. Uh, some people aren't necessarily the biggest fan of it. I actually kind of like it. So grab the L.E. Uh, to add it to my stack as I search for another pile of baseball cards i find my guy christian encarnacion strand with the first bowman chrome refractor that was an absolute bargain for that card i'm super high on him been super high on him for a while now i think uh you'll actually see a little bit more boost in him uh with noel v Marte being suspended for the first 80 games of the season uh we're definitely trying to find some good bargain deals here in this uh, box since they are five dollar cards and not one two or three dollar cards uh, you have to be a little bit more selective as you go uh, through these stacks so I'm kind of just checking to see what looks good and has potential for me to buy to sell at a later date including that Kyle the mustache Manzardo first Bowman chrome refractor along with the Tyler Soderstrom first Bowman first edition sky blue foil uh, another sky blue, this one chrome uh, first, was a um, Denzel Clark. Picked that one up as well. You can see this stack had a whole lot of mojos. I picked up that Patrick Bailey mojo. We seem to have a lot of uh, requests for Patrick Bailey during our live uh, auctions on whatnot or on the district app so he picked up that patrick bailey purple mojo bowman 
Up next, MJ Melendez, another very popular guy. When I find unique MJ Melendez cards, I generally pick those up. That was a first Bowman Refractor MJ Melendez, so we added that to the pile as well. <laughs> nah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Is this the only baseball box you have? Uh, for five bucks, yeah. So, and then there's some ten dollar baseball like back. There's some ten dollar baseball back here, and then there's a ten dollar row right here. Okay. Oh. These are all prices marked? Yeah, for the okay. most part. I mean, for some reason, I have a sticker on the back. I'll, uh, I'll let you know where I can go. So I'm looking through these price as marked cards, and I did come across uh, this first Bowman Purple Mojo uh, Miguel Bless, and I thought about it. But I decided against it after uh, it was marked at 30. It's the best you think you'd be able to do on that. Uh, three bucks. Oh, that's fair. I'm gonna sit on that one for a second. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what's that? So is this from the, the five dollar area? Yeah. So thirty there, and then twenty, so fifty bucks. All right, I'm just gonna do the thirty for now. Okay. And then let me uh, think about that one. Cool. I appreciate you though, sir. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Do you need a bag or anything? Oh, nah. I got a box. Okay, cool. Appreciate you, boss. Alrighty, thank you. Are you on the Virginia side? No, no. no. This next box had some really fire $1 cards. I picked up this Tamar Johnson Spotlight. I'm buying all the Tamar Johnson I can buy. Uh, he's having a great spring training. I think he's very undervalued at the moment. Uh, so I am grabbing all the Termars I can find in these bargain boxes. Uh, moving on to the next stack, we did find uh, a couple of uh, Topps rookie card refractors that I like. Brian Rocchio uh, for the Cleveland Guardians, I think, could be a sleeper this year. So I grabbed that uh, refractor rookie card of his. I haven't bought a lot of his stuff, so I was kind of happy to find that one. Uh, then we picked up the Masataka Yoshida on the refractor rookie card. And I want to say that we grabbed a, yep, there it is, the Brian Bello. Just signed a huge contract with the Boston Red Sox, so we grabbed that one as well. That was a refractor, too. Had to grab that Dion Jorge first Bowman Mojo. We have been selling a lot of Dion Jorge. Uh, I sold uh, the Ellie in the book of Drew Butterbeer. Good, how about yourself, boss? Hey guys. You do YouTube? Yes, sir. That I do. Dollar box. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bargain box. Yeah, I, I dig. I love watching this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. one of your videos. Oh, yeah? Yeah, at, um, in, at the. Me and him. Uh, over there. If you don't have bargain box today. Oh, over there in the corner, right? I've seen you guys at two shows. Yeah. Westminster. Yeah, that's the one we're in. And. So I think it's that's spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, I get I get around as much as I possibly can. I saw him and I was like, "Where's the bargain box?" Yeah, we no, we just got for this up for free. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> These cards were priced as marked. Um, I thought about that Lazaro Montez. I probably should have picked it up. But, man, this was my favorite card I picked up. was that Jonathan Classe numbered Bowman Platinum color match. It was such a beautiful card. Uh, very excited about Jonathan Classe and his prospect. 
uh, as a major leaguer. We also picked up uh, another prospect. That's a refractor auto first Bowman, Boston Red Sox prospect. So glad to scoop that one up for the price that it was at. Couldn't beat it. You know, it's definitely worth it sometimes at these lower dollar prices to pick up these first Bowman autos because you never know what may happen. But boy, that Marcelo Mayer. I love those Navy mojo refractors uh just a beautiful card and obviously i'm buying everything marcelo mayor i can find right now uh so that was a no-brainer grab for me in this box great price on it too yeah. All right. Whatever you could do for me on those. All right. Would you have a year three that's like no better? Yeah. I think he's so good too. So. 20, I'll do 15 bucks. Yeah, appreciate you. I'm Jake, by the way. What was your name? Tim. Nice to, nice to meet you as well, brother. What's your uh, YouTube name? Over the Years Sports. Right. Yeah, we. Ch I do it full time, so I'm always on the go. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate you. Good luck the rest of the show, my friend. This next table, everything was organized alphabetically. Um, everything was priced as marked. I was able to find a couple of really cool cards in here. And I had a great conversation with this dealer who I have worked with previously uh, at another show. And he actually recognized me too, which was pretty cool. Not a problem. Here, we'll give you a little Oh, thank you so much, sir. You are the man for that. Not a lot of people understand the struggle. Been there and done that. <laughs> If you're looking for anyone special, let me know. I, I'm, I'm all over the map. I'll probably look at every single card in all of these boxes right now. You know what I threw in? Is it Tim and you're in Vienna? It's Tim. Uh, we met, I think, in I thought, a Virginia show. It was in like a I, church just, or something like that? Just outside of Vienna. I don't know if it was. But yeah. I'm thinking yeah. that... I think Terry McLaurin was coming in to sign yeah, or something yeah. like that. Good memory, good memory. And it is Tim? Yes, sir. Damn. <laughs> Damn, I, I, I'm going to pat myself on the back because I'm going like, that's not... <laughs> I was like, he's either got a really good memory or he's seen me on YouTube. What are the two? That is a precious commodity. Oh, I know. Trust me. He's just talking to one and the other guy. Like, next thing you know, it's like... Wow, I, I, I didn't hit like nine, like, you know, whatever it is, like I have 10 things on my hit list to do for getting ready for the show, and it's like, you're good to go. It'll be fun. Hey, pleasure. Thank, thank, thank you, brother. You. Have a good one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Over the Years Sports. We are back from the Fairfax Sports Card Show. As I'm sure you could tell from the video, it was an, an extremely... I was going to say very, then I was going to say extremely, but it was an extremely small show. Um, but still, it was good to go to. Um, I ran into some fami uh, familiar faces. Um, I got to meet up with a couple of buddies from uh, Midwest Box Breaks. And then I grabbed some cards, obviously, which is always a plus. And I couldn't make it to Philly Card Show this weekend. So for me, it was just good to be able to kind of go out and get some cards. Uh, so we ended up spending $65 and we got... I think I said 25 cards. So it's a total of $2.60 per card. So let's go ahead and show you all every single card that we picked up at the Fairfax Sports Card Show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at every single card, kind of go into some details as to why I picked these cards up. Uh, it is all baseball today. Um, ignore this stack over here. This is all vintage stuff. Um, 
Uh, we're getting ready to do an all vintage baseball show. We tried to do a vintage card show live sale auction at least once a month. So these are the cards we picked up. First up was a Julio Rodriguez patch card. Um, I think this was a dollar. But obviously, once everything gets kind of like spread out, it's $2.60. But it's not game used, but still, Julio Rodriguez patch card. I thought it was cool. Um, you know, this is out of the new Series 1, so I grabbed that. This card is probably one of my favorite cards I picked up. I am buying... I've always bought Royce Lewis because I've always been a big believer in his talents. He's just kind of been injured. Um, and then last year, he, he finally, you know, made the move, like, for a little bit longer than his previous stint. Um, he played a, a really good ball when Carlos Correa went, got hurt. I think that was the year before last. Anyways, he had, like, three grand slams in four games. It was a crazy stretch. But quietly, his card market is really, really, really good. So, I'm currently buying all the Royce Lewis I can buy before the season starts. A lot of it I will move um, as quickly as possible. But I, I think this card is probably like a $15 to $20 card. Rookie card, number to 125 out of top's finest. Uh, really nice pickup right there. Brian Bello, you'll notice I picked up a couple of Brian Be Bellows. Um, he just signed a massive deal with the Boston Red Sox. This is his Topps Chrome rookie card. It is numbered to 399. Here's another Royce Lewis. I think this is 2017 or 2018. Um, Bowman Chrome Mojo. So a nice older Mojo. Pick that up. This was a really cool pickup right here. Jace Young on the Mood Ring, uh, which was a case hit, um, if I'm not mistaken. It might have it might, might have been a case hit, might not have been a case hit. I know this year's draft, it was definitely a case hit, but I'm not sure about 2022 because I think they were a little bit more um, popping out than case hits normally do. But still, one of the top prospects for the Detroit Tigers picked that up. I'm always picking up um, Brewers cards. They have a very strong uh, market, in my opinion. I think Bryce Turing showed he can play at the big league level last year. So this is out of 21. It is numbered to 499. Uh, I always pick up Bobby Miller first Bowman Chromes because you don't see them quite often. Uh, he is a stud pitching prospect for the Los Angeles Doyers. So I always pick up Bobby Miller first Bowman Chromes. Uh, up next, this is a Mookie Betts short print. Um, Christmas tree, uh, Christmas tree, Christmas light bat. I'm not sure if the, I didn't even look this up. I just knew that it was a short print and it was a dollar and it was Mookie Betts. So I need to look up and see if this is a short print or super, super short print. I'll try and put something up on the screen to answer that question for you all. But very cool card right there. This is an interesting one. Okay. So a lot of people are probably going to look at this and be like Blaze Alexander. So I was doing a little bit of digging into some of the, you know, the teams, farm systems and whatnot. And I remember hearing Blaze Alexander's name before. Uh, he is actually, uh, where is he at? I know I saw him. Here we go. He should be at the major league level. He's a shortstop. Uh, he is 24 years old. Um, he is the number 20 prospect in the Arizona Diamondbacks organization. Uh, he's got a pretty nice, uh, you know, profile as far as power goes, hit, run. He's got apparently he has a really good arm, really good defensive guy as well. So it'll be interesting. I'm gonna look up his stats really quick while I have you all here. So yeah, last year, 290. He's had a pretty last couple of years in the minors, 301, 290. Um, he had one really down year and that was in 2021 where he batted 218, but a career average right now, um, throughout the minors, even with that 218 years, 276, uh, OPS is 825, but yeah, I mean, his home run totals have kind of gone up a little bit. RBI totals have gone up a little bit. Strikeouts went down last year, which is a huge thing to, to kind of keep an eye out on. He went from 102 strikeouts to 88. So that's a nice improvement. That's one of those things I kind of like to watch. So, I mean, this is a dollar. So it just cards like this are really good to kind of just, you know, stash away just in case they make that boom. And then you can kind of go in and, and pick these cards back up. Although I'm noticing something right here. I should take a look at that. 
which I did not notice before. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's something in the card or if it's... Oh, it's the catcher's mitt. It's the catcher's mitt. <laughs> I was like, what's on the card? But it's a first Bowman Mojo. These are good cards that you just can't pull out of thin air. So, like, if he pops, you know, to have this on deck and ready is, is huge. You guys know I love buying Marcelo Mayer. Um, and this is a gorgeous card. I think this is one of the more slept-on cards. This navy blue Mojo to 175. It's a beautiful look, too, on this Red Sox card. So, uh, Marcelo Mayer, number to 175, had to pick that up. Uh, I mean, a first refractor auto, I grabbed that as well, Justin Reimer. I think he made their top 30 um, team list as far as the prospects, the farm system goes for the Boston Red Sox. I'm going to double check on that really fast. Uh, 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 um, I might have been making that up in my mind. Yep, I was making that up in my mind. It is not on their top 30, but, you know... Stash it, see what happens. I love, love this card. I know it's Bowman Platinum, but is that not a beautiful card? Jonathan Classe, color match to 250. That is just a beautiful card right here. I love this card. As soon as I saw it, it caught my eye. I was like, I gotta have that. Gotta have that. That's a beautiful card. Uh, you guys remember um, one of my previous videos I was talking about replenishing my Dion Jorge stash. Grabbed the first Bowman Mojo. Another Brian Bello. Uh, rookie card refractor. Masataka Yoshida debut hyper. I mean, I couldn't pass that up for a dollar. Uh, another uh, sleeper two right here uh, for the Cleveland Guardians. Another hyper rookie card refractor. This one's a true rookie. Termar Johnson, I'm buying all the Termar Johnson I can. He's super cheap, super under... That's, let me rephrase that. He's not super cheap, but he's undervalued right now. Uh, for some odd reason, he did not come into the top 100 list as high as I had anticipated based upon his performance at the back half of last season. Uh, he had a two home run or a three home run game during spring training already. So I really am buying all the Termar Johnson I can right now. This is one of my favorite cards. I love MJ Melendez's first Bowman. I just think it's such a rad card in the catcher gear. This card in blue, like a true blue or even a blue paper, sky blue, is so beautiful. But MJ Melendez, first Bowman refractor, had to grab that. I try to pick up Patrick Bailey. I think he has a, a pretty good market. A lot of people were at, always asking for Patrick Bailey. It's a purple mojo to 250. Denzel Clark, you guys have heard me talk about Denzel Clark and Clark Elliott for the Oakland Athletics. That's a first Bowman Sky Blue. This was a really good one right here, I thought. Uh, it was, I ended up getting, you know, obviously a deal. It, the, the dealer had $10 on it, but like I said, with all the cards that we picked up, this ended up being a, what did I say, $2.60. First Bowman, first edition, Sky Blue foiled Tyler Soderstrom. Love this card. Thought that was a great pickup. Manzardo, Kyle the Mustache Manzardo, first Bowman Refractor, one of the top prospects in the Guardians organizations, one of the top first baseman pro uh, prospects in all of baseball. Uh, another first Bowman Refractor, I'm always picking up in Carnacion Strand, uh, so that is a first Bowman Refractor. Ellie De La Cruz, this is my first Ellie De La Cruz rookie card from Series 1. Um, I like the blueprint. I, I think they're, they're, they're pretty slick looking. Uh, some people aren't as big as fans of them as as others. I, I really like it. So to grab an Ellie rookie card, I thought it was a cool, cool one to have. So I picked that up. And then uh, another card out of 2024, Silver Pack Mojo rookie card, Everson Pereira. Uh, he is one of the top prospects for the New York Yankees. Um, Yankees cards always do well, especially the young guys. I think he's like top 10 in there. Yeah, number six prospect uh, in the Yankees organization. He's only 22 years old, so uh, pick that up as well. So that is all of the cards that we picked up at the Fairfax Card Show. We want to thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to follow us on um, Instagram and on Twitter. We appreciate all the love and all the support. It has been another day, another dollar box. And as always, YouTube, stay classy. Peace.